on Wall Street reform. Um, do you think there is still a risk to the economy for big banks, and what would you do about it? Well, Kathy, I think that if big banks are too big to fail and can impact our economy in a devastating fashion, as happened earlier uh, in our uh, about, what, eight years ago, uh, absolutely. I think and do you that, think that's still a, think, a substantial risk at this point? Well, I mean, until we until we get Glass Steagall back in, in, into effect, uh, absolutely. I mean, we're we're seeing two different houses of uh, of money, both investments as well as banking. But I would like to speak to this other issue, of course, because I keep hearing about this issue as well. I've been contacted about this issue. Um, the issue is the, what? Re the issue regarding Jim Maurer, uh and and my well-funded opponent. Uh, what I will say is this is, and this is a challenge. Um, it's not the negative ad. We have negative ads in politics. That's, that's, that by itself is not the issue. What's at issue is that there was an agreement between these two gentlemen. And there was an agreement that was, as I understand it, from a, from a voice recording that Michael uh, released that Jim Maurer contacted Mike to say, hey, let's have a gentleman's agreement not to go negative. And then at the same time that you make that statement, you are preparing videos and you're preparing commercials in order to go negative. It's not as if a commercial takes five minutes or 10 minutes to get put together. So there was a level of deceitfulness that took place in addition to, in addition to deceitfulness, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's a level of dishonesty. And the, real, the, the, the mere fact that there's an agreement in place, you go against that agreement on TV, which is one thing, but then double down on that in order to make it into a commercial. Uh, the reality is Michael is not a banker. He's a financial consultant. He has Series 6, Series 7, and all these other series. That's not banking.